I've been on exactly one fishing trip so far this year. One. And the very first time I took my boat out, look what I did. Yep. That is two containers of chicken liver in my boat that's been marinating for a little over a week now. If nothing else, I'm consistent. I do that at least two or three times a year. If you're like me, you got a boat, or two, or three, or four. If you're also like me, you might have a problem with spending money on things that you really need to buy, and instead buy stuff that you want to buy, like a fourth or fifth boat. That being said, I have basically a $20,000 boat sitting out in the weather. I've mentioned that in videos before. I'd like to eventually get a, one of them carports for it, but the thing about it, where I wanna put one of them carports is there's two trees in the way and they're white oaks. And I don't know if you probably getting a tree cut down lately, but it's, they're not doing that crap for free. So I've been basically just leaving my boat out in the elements for three years now. It has dawned on me to get a cover, but like I said, I just kind of been tightwad about it because I spend money on other stuff. And not to mention, if you go to Bass Pro or somewhere like that and you get like the economy type, uh, boat cover i had one from my last boat before i got the the g3 it was a bass pro brand cover for a bass tracker and it just it didn't fit good and it was just super super cheap i want to say it was like 40 or 50 bucks uh here recently a company reached out to me rv masking and they asked if i'd be interested in a boat cover and i said well um the only boat that i need a boat cover for is a center console and lo and behold they sell boat covers for boats with center consoles and they went ahead and sent me one so i'm going to do a video on it uh, i have not used this cover yet i haven't even taken it out of the packaging so what you see is going to be like really me trying to figure this thing out they sent me a lot of information on it and it sounds really legit uh, let's take a look at it all right here we go this thing's super heavy I said i haven't opened it yet Well, that's cool it comes with a thing to put the cover in which is is pretty cool because i can show you i still have the boat cover to that bass tracker in my shed back here that is just kind of like thrown in a corner so that's that's pretty neat i didn't even know that it comes with a warranty 100 percent it says on the back dear valued customer thank you so much for choosing rv masking rv masking aims at supplying the high tech and modern products for our customers all the products will be strictly tested before the shipment. And here is our sincere warranty for you. One, 30 day money back guarantee. And two, three year replacement warranty for quality related issues. And then it goes on to give their, uh, their email address if you have a problem. So it comes with a warranty and a user manual. Well, I got all the chicken liver out of my boat and there is rain on the way. So this is a perfect time to uh, try and slap this boat cover on the G3. So uh, let's try it out.
All right, let's talk about this cover for a minute. This particular cover fits a 17 foot to 19 foot center console boat. They also have a cover for a 20 foot to 22 foot center console. So my boat is a 17 foot, so it hangs down a little further. But the good thing about that is if you have a T-top, it's got plenty of room for that. So uh, my boat doesn't have a T-top, it just has a regular center console. But if you have a T-top and you're wondering if it's gonna work, it's definitely gonna work for your boat. This cover is scratch resistant and UV preventing, made of 800D polyester fabric mixed with anti-UV composite and waterproof PU coating. It's also thicker in the front and the rear, so it's more durable in the pointy areas of your boat that could cause tears and cheaper covers. Not to mention, this cover is double stitched. It's windproof with 11 straps and it has an elastic hem for a custom fit for your boat. It also has rear air vents to allow trap moisture to escape so your boat will have a lesser chance to mold and mildew if it has a little bit of water when you throw the cover on. I know if you've ever had a, a cover on a boat before it had a little water on it, which it probably did because it's a boat, and you take that cover off after like a month and it'll be funky as crap. All right guys, it is, uh, I think it, we're on our third winter here in Tennessee. I think the day I shot the video, the first time putting the cover on, it was almost 80 degrees. Today, it's like 30. But, uh, like I said, we had a lot of rain come in, and the cover held up great. It had one spot right here that trapped a little bit of water on the top of it, and that's probably because of the trolling motor I have. I got that Tarova trolling motor, and it kind of sits on there a little wonky. But, I mean, it wasn't a whole lot of water. I mean, it might have been a gallon, which can sound like a lot but it's not it wasn't that bad i just kind of pulled up on the cover and it all came off so i'm i'm really happy with it i'm actually really impressed with the cover it is thick i really like the air vents on it because that 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 is really nice because i used to have a ski boat that i kept covered up a lot and a, a boat will get funky if under a cover if that moisture isn't allowed to escape i also like the engine cover that's built into the the boat cover itself that's pretty cool nice little addition that fits my boat good uh, like i said my boat is on the small side for this cover it's a 17 foot this is 17 to 19 foot cover but if i ever wanted to add a t-top it would still fit and also these straps i could probably tie them together and get a little tighter fit and that would probably prevent that water from pulling right there so if any of you guys are in the market for a boat cover or looking to upgrade from that cheap one you got at walmart or bass pro i highly recommend checking out rv masking i'll put a link to uh this cover down below and i'm sure that if you don't have a center console i know they have boat covers for non-center console boats too that are just like this that'll fit your boat check them out and i really appreciate them and uh, i appreciate you guys for watching this video i will see you on the next one